I'm Patricia O'Connor, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, first of all. Uh, I'm originally born and raised in Ireland. I went to America when I was about 17, and ended up doing a television show by the time I was 22. Went on from there to training people, working on television, and also doing a lot of radio work. And I found that over the years, an awful lot of the people that came to me when I was doing the training were very lacking in confidence. And I decided to write a book called Things Your Mother Forgot to Tell You. There are a number of things that you have to remember when you go for an interview for a job. One of them is to remember to listen to the other person. That is very important. You know, dress for the part, dress well, look nice and neat and clean and tidy, and dress according to what you think the clothing arrangement should be for that job. I mean, if you're a ditch digger, obviously you're not going to uh, dress up in a suit and tie, but if you're going for a banker's job, you should. One of the most important things is your diction. Remember to speak clearly. It is so important to have a nice speaking voice. You don't want to uh, drown your words or forget to finish a sentence because that's so frustrating to the person listening. And remember to be a good listener. That's essential. You bring out the best in someone when you listen to them. Remember that you need to be able to write a one-page letter along with your CV, telling them a little bit about you, you know, a little bit less formal than the CV, and it will really work. And structure your CV to suit the job that you're going after. The other thing that I want you to be able to do is to feel confident. When you look the part, you will feel more confident. And the more you go out and go after a job, and don't take no for an answer. If the first one doesn't work, keep going. I mean, remember that J.K. Rowling, she was turned down 27 times with her Harry Potter books. So there, you know, there's lots of people that have been turned down. But that doesn't mean that you stop. You have to keep on. You have to believe in yourself and go out there and get that job.